What's going on, you guys? Kid Behind the Camera here, and welcome to my second video on Storyfire. You are watching the real life of Kid Behind the Camera. If you're wondering what the real life of Kid Behind the Camera is, it's exactly what the title says. It is my real life, real stuff that I could never upload on YouTube. I can upload on Storyfire without worrying about demonetization or view suppression or just whatever I want to talk about. I don't have to worry about some robot deciding if you guys get to see it or not. So that's what I want to do today, you guys. This is the real life of Kid Behind a Camera. A lot of people don't realize how hard it is to actually be a YouTuber. And I'm kind of hoping that these videos will show you a little window in what that's actually like. Because guys, YouTube is the hardest thing that I have ever done in my entire life. Bar none. And I know it's weird talking about YouTube while on Storyfire, but that's the point of this series. What life is like as a YouTuber, because sometimes it's not that grand. Sometimes it's not that special. Sometimes it kind of fucking sucks. And I just said the word fucking, and I don't have to worry about censoring it. Cen and I don't gotta worry about fucking censoring that because I fucked up and now I can say what I want. Guys, it's really fucking hard to be a YouTuber. And now I'm starting to cuss just because I can, and that's actually a problem, fuck. When you do YouTube, you gotta deal with view suppression and people that don't like you and trolls and broken views and, you know, demonetization and so much bullshit that I wanna do a video series on what all that's actually like. And today, I wanna do my second installment. The last time you guys saw me on Storyfire, I was doing a video about Bridget's father and how he turned into a fucking asshole. And none of that's changed, you guys. He is still a fucking asshole. He is still making up bullshit. He's talking about how we hacked him and how, like, it, it's just brain dead bullshit. And he's so fucking stupid that I'm not even gonna talk about it anymore, you guys. He is so off my radar that it's unbelievable. I'm here to do a video about a real father. Mine. I'm not just doing a video about my father today. I'm doing a video to him. This is a message to my father directly. I didn't wanna do a video talking about my father. I wanted to do something different. I wanted to talk to him directly. I wanted to have a message to him because there's a lot that I need to say, a lot that I need to talk about. And I think it'll be really cathartic, it'll be really healing, it'll be really important and emotional if I could talk to him right now. So dad, I don't know if you can hear me. I don't know if this message is being transmitted up to heaven, if there even is a heaven, you know? I don't know. I can't pretend that I know. I hope there is, and, it, and if you're up there, I hope that you can hear me because this is to you. You know, you left me December 10th, 2017. And I never thought that you would leave. Even the days leading up to your death, I didn't think you were going to pass away. I, I was so optimistic and I was trying to do everything that I could to get you to walk again and get you out of that hospital bed because... I didn't want to face the fact that you were never going to come out of it. You always told me that you didn't like hospice. Because the second hospice got involved, your mom passed away and you hated him. And I told you, don't worry about it, Dad. Hospice is not going to kill you. This is not a death sentence. They're just trying to rehab you. And I was so naive that I couldn't see the reality. You were... You were really sick and you were in so much pain, and you soldiered on through it, man. I don't know how you did it. You were so fucking strong, dude. I don't know how you did it. You had a hole in your back. That tattoo on your back that said my ass stinks was gone because you had a bed sore that ate it away. And I never knew you were in that kind of pain. I, I didn't know. Maybe I was just too stupid to pay attention. So I'm glad that you're out of that pain. I'm glad that it doesn't hurt anymore to just be alive, man. You know? It hurt to just be you. And you hung around. And I was thinking about a conversation that we had. You know, 
after you got diagnosed with cancer, we had a conversation and you told me that you wanted me to start uploading on the Angry Grandpa Show channel. And you wanted me to continue doing it after you passed away. And I didn't want to address it. I didn't want to talk about it. And the reason that I didn't want to do any of those things is because I didn't want to... I didn't want to see life without you. I didn't want to imagine it. It's still hard to imagine it without you, man. I watch these videos of you and I remember how your beard felt. I remember how your voice sounded. I remember your smell. I remember I remember everything, but I'm afraid. I'm really afraid as I get older that I'm gonna forget. And I'm really afraid that other people are gonna forget too. And I don't want them to forget. I don't want them to forget you, man. I want them to remember you the way that I do. And I was thinking about every conversation that we had and you telling me to upload on that channel and I'll be honest, I don't think I was ever going to again. I'm pretty sure that up until two weeks ago, I uploaded my final video on the Angry Grandpa Show channel because I, I didn't think I could do it. And then I got this app called Time Hop. You remember Rick Juggernuggets, he, he, first of all, dad, what a friend. He's, he's been really, really quintessential to my survival since you've been gone. He has been a really great friend. And he told me about this app called Time Hop. And I was watching. And the other day, I saw a video from six years ago today. And everything about it hit me like a Mack truck. So you still mad at me? Fuck yeah, I'm mad at you. I ain't getting over this shit. Try and get, make me think I'm going to jail for 20 years. I didn't tell you 20 years. You came up with that number on your own. I ain't got 20 years left. Oh, you, you listen to you. You gonna live to be 100. You better hope not. Be on your ass. Oh, no, you better not hit nobody while you're driving. When you and Bridget gonna have a baby, man? I'll be honest, I don't remember filming it. I'm sure you don't remember filming it. But watching it and hearing us talking about how I don't think you're ever gonna die and then you asking at the end, when are me and Bridget gonna have a baby? It hit me, man. I couldn't believe it. You know, to answer your question, Dad, we're having a baby in November. November. If you just hung on a couple of more years, man, you could have met your grandchild. You know, seeing that video really brought back a lot of those conversations. One in particular was about how I need to upload on the channel after you're gone. And I've tried. Since you passed away, I have tried. But it's been so hard. I feel like I can't upload on the channel without you. I feel like I don't have the right. Even though you begged me to, even though you told me you would haunt me if I didn't, I still felt like I didn't have the right. It was our channel. What am I supposed to do? It's ours. I don't have enough video to go forever. I don't have enough unreleased video of you. And I know you wanted to do it. I know you told me we need to film more videos and put them in a log. But I didn't fucking listen, man. I was fucking stupid, and I didn't. I have pieces of videos that I'm gonna have to find ways to turn into something, and I've got whole videos that are amazing, but I don't have enough to go forever. And so that means that I'm gonna have to make videos of myself and my life, and I don't wanna do it because the second I do it, I feel like... I just feel like the second I upload a video on that channel, and then I know I have to. Oh, that's hard to say. <laughs> I'm 
I've got to move on. I got to. I can't fucking live like this. I just miss you, man. I miss you. But I gotta move on. And I know you'd want me to. You know, people say that I've been exploiting you for money. And they don't got a fucking clue, man. If I was doing that, I would be uploading every fucking day on that channel. I could have become a millionaire from doing it. No, man, I wish I wasn't making videos about you. I'm gonna take your advice. I'm gonna upload on that channel. I've been working for the past couple of days and I've been coming up with ideas and I've been coming up with plans and I'm really gonna start taking YouTube serious again because you guys, I don't know if you've noticed, but I have been half-assing it for a long time. And admittedly, at the beginning of the year, I really started trying hard again. And guys, I'm talking to you directly now. Uh, I've been trying really hard. And I've been trying again starting in January because something clicked in me. And I feel like now's the time to start again. And all these ideas started coming to me. Main channel ideas, vlog ideas, story fire ideas, unreleased angry grandpa ideas, main channel ideas. So that's the purpose of this video. To let you and Grandpa know that I'm gonna start uploading on the Angry Grandpa Show channel again. Because I cannot let my father's baby die. I cannot let my father's dream die. He died, but the channel doesn't have to go with him. And that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna resurrect it. Dad, I'm gonna do everything I can to make you proud again because I love you. You're so important to me and I want to let you know that I've never forgotten you and I never will. I love you. I do. This is the real life of Michael Green, kid behind the camera. Thank you for doing everything you did for us. Thank you for helping us live this YouTube dream. Listen, I'm not naive. I know I could have never done this without you. You always told me that you never could have done it without me. I think we went together like, you know, yin and yang, like peanut butter and jelly. But now, there is no more peanut butter. It's just jelly. And I gotta keep going on. But I do miss you. And I wish we were doing it together. But I can't run from it. I can't let it destroy me. I can't let grief destroy me. I fucking can't do that. But I miss you. I love you. And if you're out there, I hope you're watching. Because I'm going to make you proud again. I'm going to make all of you proud again.